o'clock on a Saturday, regular crowd shuffles in. There's an old man sitting next to me, making love to his tonic and gin. He says, It's already been another year! Two years ago, I uploaded the first episode of my first Let's Play. It, it's something to get used to, to say the least. And to be honest, it wasn't great. <laughs> However, it was fun. So much fun that I've been uploading videos virtually every day since, with over a thousand uploads in the channel's short life. Thankfully resulting in what I believe is an improvement in quality and enjoyability. The friggin' chili sauce at me. So, in honor of the channel's second birthday, I present to you LP's LP's The Year in Review. Let's start with the games we played. 16 Let's Plays were started or completed over the last year. Majora's Mask, The Minish Cap, Wind Waker, Thousand Year Door, Paper Mario 64, Pikmin, Mother, Earthbound, Mother 3, Mario, Galaxy, Banjo-Tooie, Golden Sun, Fire Emblem, Path of Radiance, Pokemon Legends, Arceus, and Tears of the Kingdom. Among them, the least successful or least watched series was Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 for the N64, and the most successful was Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Although, Tears of the Kingdom is off to a good start. The Thousand Year Door also claimed the title for longest Let's Play with 53 episodes, as well as two bonus episodes for 55 total videos. Among the series that I played on the channel, two came from the Nintendo Switch, one from the Wii, four GameCube, four N64, three Game Boy Advance, and the Nintendo Entertainment System and Super Nintendo Entertainment System had one each. The last year also saw the inclusion of a couple new voices to the channel. My amazing wife Serena completed a full Let's Play of Pikmin with me. Emperor Bulblax. Oh god, he's ugly. He is huge and juicy. And the one and only Josh Jepson joined me for an episode of Banjo Tooie. Uh, hi, Specky. Oh, man. Me and my dad are going to be playing in the Kickball <laughs> Tournament next week over at the Mayan State. They weren't the only newcomers to the channel, however. The channel essentially doubled in size over the last year with 1,400 new subscribers, contributing a total of 435,000 views for nearly 15,000 hours of times watched. What's even more, only one copyright strike. Now, if you're into stats like this and want to see the full deep dive, head on over to Patreon. I've enabled a free trial so you can go watch the breakdown for free if you're into that. Anyway, speaking of watch time, the channel accumulated the required watch hours to be invited into the YouTube Partner Program. Which doesn't really matter, but it's a neat milestone in my pursuit of doing Let's Plays full time. Which is not something that I could do without you. So let me take a moment to thank you. Whether you've been along since the first Let's Play, you stumbled across one of my Zelda shorts in the last few weeks, I'm just glad you're here and I hope that I can continue to entertain you for a long time. I thoroughly enjoy it and I've really appreciated the community that we've started to build with the many regular viewers and commenters throughout the year. Again, you're awesome. Moving on, some of you have noticed that I put a link in the descriptions of my videos to a Google form for anonymous questions. Today, I'll be reading and responding to every submission that's come in. Okay, number one, which capture card do you use? I actually use a $30 cheapo, like off-brand Amazon capture card. I can link it in the description below, but I, I've used it ever since the very first episode and I've used it for every video since. What microphone do you use? I use the Blue Snowball, again, uh, keeping the theme consistent from the capture card. I'm on a budget. Do you play anything other than Nintendo games? Yes, I do. Uh, not presently, I should say. Um, I guess I have played things other than Nintendo games. One of my favorite games of all time is The Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. And when we're all like 95 years old and The Elder Scrolls VI comes out, I'll be playing that. Uh, but predominantly, I am mostly interested in Nintendo titles. What's your favorite game? Hmm. Tough one. Um, Tears of the Kingdom is making a really strong impression on me and it might take this spot, but right now at this moment, I think Majora's Mask is my favorite game. How did you and Serena meet? Okay, well, trying to keep this as compact as possible. I was in the army. I came home uh, to visit my parents for 4th of July. 
My dad had a 4th of July party. I invited some of my friends. My friends invited their significant others. Their significant others invited their friends. Serena was a friend of my friend's significant other. So through the, uh, the web of, I guess, influence, we connected at that 4th of July party and we were inseparable ever since. Is Serena going to participate in more Let's Plays? Yes, actually. Uh, Pikmin 4 is supposed to come out this July. And I guess, spoiler, uh, Serena and I will be Let's Playing it together. Will you do any more collaborations? Yeah, I'd love to. Uh, I've actually been talking with a couple other creators that are in, I don't know, similar sort of Nintendo spaces. And there have been talks about doing stuff and I'm always available to do stuff, really. I mean, I, I'd love to, I guess availability is a different beast altogether, but my willingness is there, we'll say. If I want to collab with you, how do I go about it? Uh, any, any way you can, really. You could leave a comment on a video. Uh, I think in the about section of my channel itself, uh, there's my email. You can send me an email. Uh, really, however, um, I do my best to stay on top of the comments, so whatever's most convenient for you. What other games are you going to play? That's a tough one. Uh, I know we just mentioned Pikmin 4, obviously that's coming up. Uh, but by and large, I don't really announce what I'm going to play because sometimes I don't even know what I'm going to play until I start playing it. <laughs> until like the end of the series that I am currently working on. Of course, uh, as the Patreon continues to be built out, that is something that I want to enable Patreon members f with, is the ability to choose the series. So, TBA. What software do you use? Uh, that's... A vague question, so I guess I'll, I'll kind of give a vague answer. I use a lot of software. Um, I use DaVinci Resolve for editing. Uh, that's both long form and shorts, and then a little bit of audio processing as well. I do use some amount of Audacity, uh, not as much as I used to, to be honest with you. Uh, I do most of my sound stuff inside of Resolve. And then for capturing, I use OBS, which is uh, you know probably consistent with 99.9% .9 of everyone else. <laughs> Uh, and then I do use some Reaper plugins, which while not technically software, does influence the software to do what I need it to uh, for certain parts of the content I create. And then for thumbnails, I use the Adobe Suite, uh, mostly just Adobe Express, because that's all I really need. And a little bit of Adobe Lightroom, but I'm not necessarily good enough with those tools yet to really probably get the most value that I could out of them. And Let's Plays are dead. Why are you wasting your time? Um, I don't know, that's a good question, but in turn, I would pose you a question, why are Let's Plays dead? I mean, as long as I'm making Let's Plays, they're not dead, right? And I'm sure there are hundreds of other people, also hundreds of thousands of other people probably making Let's Plays. Uh, I do Let's Plays because I enjoy them, right? I enjoy one, Nintendo games, and two, I enjoy talking. And anytime I can do both of those at the same time and bring some semblance of entertainment to, uh, to people. I mean, obviously you're watching. Whether or not you agree with what I'm doing, you're watching. So <laughs> I guess it counts for something. So why am I wasting my time? Because it's fun. Who is the best Zelda character and why is it Tingle? Signed, Chardman. Okay, well this was supposed to be an, an anonymous thing, but Chardman, I... <laughs> yes, no, it is absolutely our boy Tingle here. You can see, I'm not sure if he's in the frame. We all, we all love Tingle. Will you ever stream? Uh, I have streamed. Uh, there was a while there I was actually streaming pretty consistently. I have since stopped and I don't know when I'll get back into it. TBA. What is the worst part about Let's Plays? Um, that's tough. I don't necessarily know that there is a worst part. Maybe the most tedious part is like waiting for the episodes to, to render and upload and then fill in all the, the metadata and stuff like that. Um, I don't know, I, I guess menial stuff like that. How did you start? Uh, in 2021, uh, during the pandemic, I, I was watching more Let's Plays than ever before. Uh, I started watching Let's Plays back in like 2015, but I really ramped it up obviously because we were all stuck at home uh, in quarantine. And I started to think, after watching a few other creators, like, hey, maybe I maybe I can do this. Like, I already play video games and I already talk a lot while I do it and the people that I'm around are usually entertained. Maybe random other people on the internet will also be entertained. So, there you have it. 
do you watch Let's Plays? I do. Uh, I kind of answered that, I guess, in a roundabout way in preceding questions, but I do, actually. Uh, there's a number of creators that I still watch to this day, obviously, right? Josh Jepsen, I wouldn't have him on the channel if I didn't appreciate his work, uh, but I watch him, the rest of like the TRG grouping sort of people, Stephen George, Tom Fox, Chugga, of course, NCS, and Bro Don John, and then a couple other of the peripheral people from that group. Uh, I, I watch a lot of Let's Plays, <laughs> we'll say. Do you have a job? I, I do, actually. I've got mm, several, <laughs> to be honest with you. So I've got two like actual jobs. I work at GameStop, and then I'm also a member of the business development team for a software company. And then I also obviously do YouTube, which can be considered a job. I pour, you know, dozens of hours into it every week, so I think that qualifies. And then I also do voiceover stuff for a Dragon Ball channel, which is a job because I have a commitment there every week. And then what's more, I also do hosting work, which is like voiceover, except my faces there, kind of like this, for Game Domain. So what is that? I don't know, four jobs, five jobs? I got jobs. <laughs> Your Let's Plays have helped me through some dark times, so I don't have a question, I just wanted to say thank you. I love that, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, I am, thank you, I guess, for, for finding enjoyment in what I'm bringing to the world. So if I can cause any amount of happiness for you, I think that's awesome, glad to hear it. And that is actually the last of them. Uh, cool, uh, so on the whole, I'd say it was a great, great year. Uh, I'm already looking forward to finding ways to make this next year even better, so stay tuned. Uh, either which way, I'm just so glad that you've been here at any capacity throughout this year, whether this is your first video. I mean, that's kind of amazing this is your first video. Hi, welcome. You know, this is not what I do ordinarily. This is just what I do once a year. Uh, either which way, though, whenever you came in, if you were here from the beginning, if you are here a week ago, if you're here now, I'm thankful for it. So thank you again for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Start with a taco, soft like a cloud. I'll take mine crunchy, I like to eat loud. I'll choose a chalupa, grab a gordita, and two taco salads for my senoritas. And a burrito supreme, with extra sour cream, it's a cylindrically shaped season beef dream. A taquito with Dorito, some cinnamon twist, a chicken border bowl. Are you getting all this? two of those, but please hold the dice tomatoes, and I'll admit I've always felt I'm in love with the maximum. Just make mine with extra love. As the cheese drops from your taco bell glove. I think that's it. No? Also want a double deck of taco cause I'm feeling wild. Make my sauce fire or actually mild. Take two Mountain Dew Baja Blast for a chance at $25 cash. I'm told there's a winner for every five minutes. I'm stealing your online code if you win it. Why would you do that? You're only 25 bones. I owe you five plus interest. It was a loan. And I think we'll be satisfied. Mexican rice